Hi, this is Rick Harsh with another master class on teaching writing. You can skip this ad in three days. I'm sorry if I'm a little um, jiggly, but uh, my photographer quit and uh, there's a glare. I can't see what you're seeing. I think you, you see me, but if you don't, hopefully you can at least hear me. Basically, that's, you know, this is a, you know, it's a, a, a verbal thing, a vocal verbal thing. We all know that verbal means wordle. And so when you say verbal, it's word, not necessarily spoken. So I have to say vocal. Now, those are simple words. And today's master class is on how, how to appear to be a genius by using obscure words. First thing you have to do, and really the, the last thing, is find an obscure word. Just look around you. Thomas Pynchon, gravity's rainbow. Okay, we know what gravity is and rainbows and... Okay, it's a dark tell. Uh, no, he is a supreme teller of tales from the dark underground of the imagination. Okay, that doesn't help us. Uh, okay, here here's one. Oh, these are wow. This guy this guy maybe already took my class. Whoever wrote this is a, a coffee cup. Um, can you see it? It's a coffee cup with words on it, and. Uh, La Befana, there already we we have one. La Befana vende note con le scarpe dute rote. Wow, that's a mouthful. But do you know what any of those words mean? I sure don't. So what you have to do, you don't need, don't look them up. There's no need to look them up. String a bunch of them together if you want. This guy did. Um, Let's, let's go with a simple thing. The sun, I, I'm writing now, okay? The sun is in the sky, blistering from afar. That's nice, isn't it? Poetic. The sky is blue. But actually, mostly the, it, it's white. Cloudless white. Did you see the spit? The cloudless white, and um, the, the sky is blue with a cloudless white. And Johnny, la Befana vende note con le scarpe dute rote, whereupon the sirens faded. Maybe we could use a, a, an interesting word for the way they faded. Um, the sirens faded away rapidly. Yeah, rapidly away. Okay. Um, the reader comes to that passage and says, ah, okay, simple sky description. Read a lot of those before. Um, this one's pretty interesting because it's, as you see, I use different colors, um, and I didn't just say the blue sky. I, I, you know, I showed that a sky can be more than blue, which is sort of a telling detail term we'll have a master class on. And then they will get to La Befana, Vende note con le scarpe dute rote, in the middle of the sentence that Johnny something is happening with Johnny and um, while that's happening apparently there were sirens because they're uh, whittling away and uh, now they're gone so when they read that when anybody reads that they think wow genius I gotta look these words up or and you know most people they they, they don't really look the words up um, 
to go back to Thomas Pynchon, he uses a lot of words like this, and um, I don't, I don't mark them, I don't look them up, I don't pretend I know them, unless I'm going to use one, and um, then I, I just slip it into something I'm writing without looking it up. So there's no, really no need to, because it's a, an obscure word, and uh, nobody knows what it means. So, take it from me, you can be a genius, or at least make people think you are. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to tr see it to turn off, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't even on. If it wasn't on, did I live? <laughs>